All right, welcome back to our video newsletter. Last week we talked about the five different types of sales dogs breed out of Blair Singer's book, Sales Dogs. You don't have to be an attack dog to be successful in sales. Quick recap in case you missed it. We talked about pit bulls, poodles, golden retrievers, chihuahuas, and basset hounds. And this week I wanna unpack for you the pit bull because this is the one that most people think of is that pit bull style salesperson is oftentimes what most people think about as like a used car salesman. Before you even get out of the car, they're over at your car, they're like, can I help you buy something today? I'll tell you, one of my worst car sales stories I ever was at is I walked out of this dealership and the guy just walked up to me, looked at me straight in the eye and said, are you buying a car today? And I was like, well, I might be, I'm looking at it. And he goes, well, let me have you talk to that guy over there then if you're not gonna buy a car today. And I just thought, what? The, that's the worst sales experience you could possibly have. And in fact, I ended up buying a car the next day, but just because that guy was so quick to shove me off and push me off, that's a pit bull style salesperson. Now, let me be really clear, because I am also a pit bull style salesperson, okay? So if you've met me before, you might have experienced this. However, I don't carry with me, I'm not gonna ask you, oh, are you gonna do work with me today, yes or no? That's not how I work. But there are some really good qualities about a pit bull style salesperson. First of all, what it means is they're more willing to ask for the sale or ask for the close and go out there. Now that was a pretty extreme example that I just gave you. But if you have a, a client, for example, that's been sitting on the fence and they haven't been able to make a decision, look, it's probably a good idea for you to send that pit bull style salesperson to go out there and to, to, to see what they can do to help get this client off the fence. And so if it was me, for example, having pit bullish tendencies, I would just say, well look, what's really stopping you from doing this deal? What is it that you really need to know before we can move forward and get into a partnership type contract together? And so I'll ask those questions, whereas other people, Golden Retriever or Poodle, and we'll talk about those over the next couple of weeks, would back off or not ask as aggressive of a question. Now, maybe you think that's an aggressive question. If you don't think that's an aggressive question, you might be a pit bull on my side of the fence as well. The great thing about pit bulls is not only are they usually good closers, the thing you have to be careful of is they will usually leave a trail of aftermath around them, meaning that sometimes they're so focused on just getting the sale, they forget that they actually need to do customer service and the rest of it and to work with clients on an ongoing basis. So I'll say, even for myself, because I started out as a very pit bull style salesperson, what I had to learn is, look, if I wanted to retain a client over the long haul, I had to learn other tendencies from other breeds. In fact, I would recommend that, that golden retrievers and pit bulls are almost polar opposites. So if you know somebody that's more of a golden retriever, if you're more of a pit bull, and I'll talk about golden retrievers next week, but but if you know somebody who's golden retriever, who's a little bit more laid back, they're very servant mentality, spend some time with those people. In fact, I've spent a lot of time with golden retrievers that are very good at ongoing customer service. They're all about the customer, they want to make sure that they're right. The only problem is that they don't usually close up front. So they're not very good at going out and attracting new customers. When they have customers over the long haul, well that's great, but if they don't have any customers in the first place, probably a, a, a challenge. So if you're starting a new business or you're thinking about getting other people on your team, I would say look for some pit bulls that are trainable, and that's the key I would say, is look for pit bulls that are willing to learn other methodologies, other systems that'll help them grow in their sales career and grow in their background. Oftentimes if you can find that pit bull style salesperson, then you've got a lifer. And what I mean by that is somebody who will stay with you for a very long time and help your company or your business make a lot of money. And if you're a pit bull yourself, check yourself every once in a while, make sure that you're not getting too aggressive for your clients, and really more than anything, start partnering and knowing if your clients are a pit bull. Because if they're a pit bull style buyer, and they just go, they'll walk in, they'll go, give me the bottom line, what's the lowest price you can give me? Winner, that is a pit bull style buyer. And if you have a pit bull style buyer, make sure you match them with your pit bull style seller. So that's my tip of the day. Thanks for watching our video newsletter, and we'll see you again next week.